So, Anthony, today is your first day in your new role. What excites you about? I think even before day one, I was excited by this prospect of joining a huge collaborative team which has got a unity of purpose. So, despite the fact that it's so diverse with um, collaboration between people at local level, regional level, international level, everybody's heading the same way. There must be so many memorable moments throughout the time over the last four years, but anything in particular that stands out as the most memorable occasion? There's been a couple of operations which I found super interesting, like anything from Mozambique, which was quite a large operation for us, very diverse. And pulling that team together and it was like from many different uh, parts of the world was really nice. Then you look at operations like uh, in Bangladesh, which was kind of completely new for us to get 800,000 refugees in such a short period into a very condensed area. And looking at access, and access yeah. became not our normal access, it's about you know how do you get to a road, it's access into a camp which has been set up very quickly very ad hoc with no roads or anything and a lot of concerns about you know the monsoon season about we're talking about the health the impact on, on health and how you would support partners on that uh, so they were two that came to mind are there any challenges that you're thinking of and that you think are going to be important and interesting for you to tackle it's only day one so you might have to ask me that you know in a, in a few days time or maybe several months but I'm really fascinated about how we can work together, for example, on the preparedness, how we can make sure that we're one step ahead of the scenarios. I don't know, maybe the, you know, the change in involving nature of health emergencies, for example, how we can really keep one step ahead in our preparedness. And kind of link to that as well, how we can stay relevant as a cluster to our colleagues at a local level, um, so that we can evolve and change to match what their evolving needs are in terms of resilience and sustainability.